Welcome to Lund. Uh, I am uh, Thomas, and this is Magnus, and uh, we are, are community police officers here in Lund. And uh, yeah, we will guide you through a few things that you you should think of as a student here in Lund and Sweden. So uh, Lund. Well, it's a safe city, uh, low in crime, and uh, yeah, lots of students. So you should all feel safe at all time here. Most common uh, crimes that you will get into, maybe. Uh, I think it's theft, or uh, you get your bike stolen, or uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. So not very much uh, hard crimes for the students. Uh, first, uh, just a little look at the Swedish police. Uh, it's uh, one police authority in the whole country, and it's divided up in different regions and down to the local police departments. And Lund is one of those. We are here at 24 7 uh, at all time uh, if you need the police in the local police district uh, it's a lot of focus on community policing and you can see some other things on the slide here as well but that's the most we, we move on <laughs> as a student you will most certainly get turn up in the traffic situations and uh, a bicycle is the most uh, common uh, traffic uh, vehicle for you to use so a few thing, things you should uh, take notice in the traffic and if you go by car or bus you 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 need you used to have you use, you need to use a seat belt uh, as you can see on the slide, it's also uh, in buses. Uh, of course, when you drive your car or at a, another motorized vehicle, you need to be sober. So there's no recommended uh, limit for drinking, so don't drink and drive at all. Uh, if you are out and have a drink, leave the car. And uh, the traffic rules uh, are the same for bar cars and buses and bicycles. And in Sweden, you ride on the right hand side of the road. And uh, you cannot ride your bike on the sidewalks. You have to use the streets or the bicycle paths for that. Uh, and follow the signs. There are at the stop signs, mean stop. In some countries, you may you are allowed to turn right at the stop sign, but that's not allowed in Sweden. You have to stop at all time. And on your bicycles, there are a few things that you need at all times, and it's the brakes uh, and the, in, in the night lights and reflectors and actually also a bell. Okay. And when you're driving, you're riding your bike, you can't uh, take your friend on the back. It's just uh, for one person to ride a bicycle. And alcohol and cycling, well, uh, it's not a crime to ride your bike uh, if you're drunk, but uh, we wouldn't recommend it or a few accidents will happen. So don't drink and drive even on your bike. And uh, the same for electrical scooters. It's, uh, it's the same rules as uh, bicycles. You're not allowed to ride two of them. And uh, you have to respect that, uh, that you are not allowed to drive on the sidewalk that many do and we get lots of complaints about the electrical scooters right now so 
be gentle when you ride electrical scooters. It's a, it's a very good transport in Lund. But uh, remember, um, think about the parking and put the electrical scooters in a safe place when you park them. Uh, yes, thanks. Hmm? We've actually gotten a couple of questions. Oh, yeah. If we can yes. take those. One is, uh, if someone has a race bike, is a bell necessary for those? Yes, it actually is. Uh, but we don't go looking for that so much. But it's, yeah, you have, even on a race bike, you do need a bell. It's for good purpose. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's lots of bikes and there's lots of people. Uh, so uh, you have to uh, make sure that you are seen uh, every time and that you want to pass by another bike or a pedestrian. Mm -hmm. I'll tell my husband when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> another question, do the lights on the bike need to be turned on at all times of the day or is it enough to turn them on during dawn, dusk and at night? Okay, yeah, um, you didn't, okay. The, the, for, uh, the lights are in the night, so during the day you don't need lights. And there is one thing more uh, about the lights. Uh, it's allowed to have a, the red light on the rear is uh, okay if it's a blinking light, but the headlight, the white light must be, uh, yeah. Not blinking. Not blinking, <laughs> yeah. And uh, please uh, make sure that you buy a, a proper light that, mm -hmm. that you can you can see where you drive and that other uh, um, the other people in traffic can see that you are coming uh, because there are very, very small lights that you almost can't see. But uh, we won't find you if you have a mud, but make sure that, that you have proper lights. And so then it's a fine if you are have, not having the proper lights. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes. Proper lights or not having reflectors or the bell could give you a fine, yes. More and questions? There's another question about helmets. Yeah. Are they compulsory? No, not in Sweden. Uh, up to f uh, 15, you must uh, use a helmet. But uh, after that, it's up to you. But we recommend using a helmet. It's a good life insurance. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a question about, uh, does Sweden have a right before left rule at crossroads? Yeah, yeah we have. Uh, we have another question about the helmets, but you already mm -hmm. answered that. Do I need to give signal when I want to turn and stop? The simple answer is yes, but uh, almost no one does it. But uh, yes, you should give a signal when you turn or stop. You will be a role model for the, the children uh, at the streets. So please make sure that you hand signal. Great. There are a lot of questions, but, yeah, you're good. <laughs> but they're great. Uh, do, where do the reflectors need to be positioned on the bike? Yeah, OK. Uh, on the front, you need a white reflector, and the rear, a red, and on the side of the bike, uh, most commonly in the on the tires or in the rear, only in the wheel, you need to have uh, orange or white reflectors. Um, I learned some street some streets are walking roads only, but how can I distinguish the signs, the street signs mm -hmm. allowing for bikes? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, if there's it's allowed for you know, both. Walk, yeah, pedestrians and bicycles. There will be a sign with a, yeah, a figure, a, a person walking, and a bicycle. And if, yeah, so it's, it will be a bicycle on the sign. I think they're the round blues, blue. Round signs. blue, yes, mm -hmm. and a white uh, bike bike sign. Yeah. Can I use a bike on the road when there is no bike area? Yes, uh, yes, you can. Uh, of course, not on the freeway. And there are some limits in that too. Up to 50 kilometers is yes. uh, 
then you can choose to use the road if it's the most uh, yeah if it suits you better to get you to your arrival uh, but if the speed limit is over 50 you have to use the cycle path if it's there and as far as uh, signs if there's a blue sign often it's information that you can use when it's when it's red or yellow then you have to watch out because then something you're not prohibited to do like you you can't go that way or, uh, or like that. so so be be careful and that and there's the usual uh, traffic incidents or and it's like uh, driving through a red lights or, or if you don't stop at the stop sign and going the wrong way if they're one-way street and you just go with your bike even you can get run over but so so think about those three uh, and in Lund it's very hard because it's a lot of signs uh, lots of one-way streets and you want to go from point A to B and the near and everyone does that so, so the nearest path between that place but but be be careful and and uh, watch out for the signs in the city do the handbrakes have to work or is it okay with just uh, brakes and the pedals? It's okay. Yeah, you, you have, you need, you need to have a brake that's functional. And if it's a handbrake or, or a pedal brake, it doesn't matter. Uh, but can you cross the road in places other than the crossroads if cars aren't around? Yes, you can. Uh, if you're pedestrian and there is a, crossing you, you you shall use it but you won't be, get fined if you cross the street and uh, it's the same for your bicycle yeah, it's not really allowed to ride on the pedestrians crossover but uh, well you don't get fined for it i think it's like 50 meters mm -hmm. if you if you are in an area like 50 meters away from the zebra crossing then you're allowed to go over Otherwise, you should use the pedestrian. Yes. And then there's a question about if you can get if you can get fined if you're riding a bike or a scooter on the sidewalk. Yes, you can. Yes, you get fined for that, or even and if you don't have the lights, you also get a fine. So. Mm -hmm. Great. Here's a good question about if I get my bike stolen, what should that person do? Uh, you report it to the police, of course, uh, and we have later on in this. Uh, presentation how you contact us but uh, yes contact the police and file a report if it gets stolen so if you if you buy a bike uh, uh, make sure that you take a picture of the bike mm -hmm. and uh, if you can make some notes of the the serial number underneath the the, the, the pedals and uh, so when it, when it gets stolen we can id it and we can put it in in, in our search area for for uh, stolen goods and that and, and probably we can uh, if if we got the bike uh, that was stolen from you then we can get it back to you so so make sure that we you have signs for the bike as well because if it just says bike, we, we can find it. Um, I have a driver's license in my country. Can I use it here if it's valid? Yes, uh, most of uh, the, the driver's licenses are valid here. You do have to be 18 to drive in Sweden. So most of them are valid. But I think if you go into a website uh, called Transport Stevenson. <laughs> Transport. Uh, we'll put that in the chat. Yeah. Good. And then, then you can see what's in for your country's uh, licenses. Okay. Uh, drinking in public in Lund. It's legal to drink in public places. Uh, it's not that very common uh, on other places in Sweden. So Lund and Uppsala big uh, student cities uh, allowed the drinking in public places so if you go to Malmö 
that's not allowed. But there's one place, uh, a public place that's not allowed, and that's the railway station. A uh, railway station is not allowed to drink there. But otherwise, you can drink on all public places in Lund. And to buy alcohol here in Sweden, you go to Systembolaget, and then you have to be 20 to buy your own alcohol. And the food stores have beer as well. Uh, and then you have to be 18, and it's a lower amount of alcohol in that beer. At a restaurant, you have to be 18 to buy your drinks. And if you get drunk and turn up on the street or in the city, it's not a crime to be drunk, but you can uh, be taken in custody by the police. You won't be charged for anything, or this, so as I said, it's not a crime, but you can have, end up at the police station for a few hours to sober up. Okay, and then you will get home again. If you think it's strange that you have to be 18 and you have to buy it in a system belonging when you're 20, it's uh, the Swedish law, they consider it like we have uh, more control uh, in a restaurant or bar with with the education education uh, educated uh, personnel in the bar and so on, so on so that's why is the same age for all percentages wine and gin yeah that's yes. the system along it's it's 20 for uh, wine and uh, yeah everything and then there's a 3.5% or, or under that? Yeah, it's, uh, that's 18. Uh, and then you buy it on the food store. Someone just wanted to uh, to hopefully add, everyone in the group must be 20 when you go to Stimbolog, it's not just the one paying. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> OK, drugs. Uh, as you can see, it's illegal to use or possess narcotics in Sweden. And if you get caught possessed with possession or under the influence of drugs, you will get fined for that. And cannabis is also a drug uh, and therefore illegal. To buy medicine in Sweden, you need to a prescription from a doctor. Uh, but the most common painkillers you can get in food stores, as well as with alcohol. It's the same about drugs. You can't use them and drive cars. And you will get yeah, fined for that as well if you will get caught. OK, uh, what can you do to prevent crime for yourself? Uh, make sure that you lock your door when you sleep or you leave your room, even for a few minutes. Uh, don't leave your personal property un unattended anywhere, even for a few minutes as well. I'd say that's the most common uh, theft by, uh, for students here is at the library or at the university and the studying and then leave your computer just to get a coffee or something and when you're back it's gone so uh, make sure take them with you or have a friend watching them for you uh, meanwhile you're leaving a lot of you will probably buy you a bike when you come here then you make sure you buy it at a place that feels safe try to make sure that the bike you're buying is not stolen so uh, make sure that you have a real good lock, maybe two, two locks, and you, that you lock it. Yes, something in a in a bar or something, uh, or in the back wheel as well, because the back wheel uh, is the more expensive one on a bike. So you can you can make you can make it hard for the bike bike thief to to uh, obtain your car uh, bike. Can you clarify, is there a way you can check if your bike has been stolen if, or if the bike you purchased has been stolen? Uh, 
yeah, you, you could contact the police and if you have uh, the serial number or something that uh, if you suspect mm -hmm. then you can contact the police and we will uh, yeah we can do a check up in our systems if it's reported stolen yeah. but if you're unsure uh, well go to the next uh, bicycle shop <laughs> if it mm -hmm. doesn't feel good if it's too cheap it's yeah don't buy it because you can get you, you can get uh, suspected of, of uh, 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 buying uh, stolen goods and frauds of course uh, mainly maybe place to live apartment or room now at the start of the semester there are lots of frauds so be careful yeah when you find a ad for a new a place to live make sure it's really there when you when you get the key or, or if you don't get the key you should always learn that you if, if it's an emergency call one 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 two uh, and that's uh, that crime is ongoing or it's uh, a, a life-threatening situation so that's the number you should call it's better that you call it one more at one time too much than not at all. Um, it's the same for, for if you need an ambulance and, and, uh, and fire department. But if you want to make a complaint, then, then, you, then I don't want you to call 112. Uh, you can call uh, 11414 or you can even uh, try to use the web page and uh, you can see on the PowerPoint police and print essay. Yes, and if you, if you want to uh, visit us at the local police station, it's address is bygmestergatan at one, and that's, uh, it's just behind the railway station. Of course, uh, you can follow uh, the Police department in Lund at both Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, if you see us the street, don't hesitate to come forward and ask questions and talk to us. And uh, we, uh, we will help you. We just want to clarify can any international member call 112? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. And then we have a, a good question about the making sure they're not um, fooled by. False landlords. Uh, how can you make sure that the room is really there? How can you? Well, ask questions. Maybe you can Google the address mm -hmm. and you can uh, maybe you can find out something about the landlord. Do you have do you, maybe they have a, a business card or uh, if you have a, if you have a mail contact and you can have some certain uh, phone numbers or something. You, ha you have to be like a police officer that uh, really wants to, to know something about it. Google Coolen has a lot of tips mm -hmm. on ways to avoid fraud and things you can yeah. do, like ask questions. Like. Mm -hmm. And I think Google Coolen is a very legit site as well. well they check up the addresses. Mm -hmm. We should say there actually are two Google Coolen. No, <laughs> I okay. realize one is .nu and one is dot. I think SC, but we want the one that uh, we recommended on our mm. website and we've had mm. in all the material. And it's run by the Municipality of Lund, the mm. Student Unions, and Lund University. Did you have more sets or should we go to some of the other No, questions? we can go to the questions yeah. if there are more questions. So I think just to just to take out some of the questions that we've been having a lot mm -hmm. of, it's a lot about driver's licenses mm -hmm. and, and getting driver's licenses mm -hmm. and things like that. We're going to talk about this and add a module into the orientation guide for the university in Canvas. So mm -hmm. I think that we can link to the transport mm -hmm. status mm -hmm. and, and so we can help students find the right information that way. Good. Am I allowed to lock my bike to a street lamp? If it doesn't interrupt with a, something like the pedestrian street or another a sidewalk. Mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, if it's not in the way uh, yes. for other... For handicapped or... Uh, Yes, so I would uh, say that's that's, uh, that's not a crime, mm -hmm. but be, be ha, ha, have a respect for the uh, surroundings. So if we buy a bike from a secondhand store, mm -hmm. a secondhand bike store, mm -hmm. can we assume that it wasn't stolen? 
Mostly, yes, I say, I say so. Yeah, it's more common if you buy it from a guy on the street or uh, on an ad uh, on some uh, buy and sell page. Yes, selling stuff in mm -hmm. the <laughs> a Facebook page, <laughs> a group you can join. There's a lot of students there, and I've seen uh, someone that sells stolen bikes there. So, who who we know is a, 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 a well-known bike thief. If you go to buy store, we we have contact with the stores and they have to follow Guidance. guidelines for buying or selling the uh, used bike. So I'd say it's uh, safe. Students yes. can ask us if they have uh, questions about some yes. bike courses that we, we know have a good reputation, for yes. example. Yes, that's great. Yes, so feel free to uh, contact the international desk at uh, studentdiscipline.lu. Let me see. Let's ask you about walking home at night uh, alone. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, I'd say walking home alone at night, it's safe in the, of course, things happen, but uh, I'd say it's safe. You shouldn't be scared for that. No? So that's good. And, and gang crimes? And yeah, yeah, in a larger city. Uh, it's not far away to Malmö and, uh, and even Helsingborg. They have more problems with that in Lund. Uh, you you don't see that uh, on the streets, or uh, we have, of course, a few members of some gangs, or what you call them, but uh, it's not a problem in the public. But we have no, we have not, not like no go zones no. in, in the no. certain areas in Malmö. Uh, we, we should not go to during the events, but um, yeah. Lund is the same mm. place mm -hmm. up in our um, even like the parks and at night. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. We we have we have robberies and we have like oh, all those common uh, crimes that every city has, but but not not any uh, violence. And as for it, as in, a city in, in the same size as Lund, we have a very low crime rate in Sweden. But of course. Things happen, robberies and so, but you shouldn't be walking around and feel unsafe at any time. Yeah, here's an interesting question. For, uh, I come from a country where police brutality is quite common. Is it true that police here do not carry guns and there's not much of a gun problem? No and no. <laughs> uh, we carry guns in Sweden. Maybe they heard of Norway, but the police in Sweden and Denmark uh, as well use uh, carry guns. Guns are a problem uh, mostly in these gang uh, areas so, so of course we we bump into guns here as well in our job but on the streets and on the places the students will attend there's not a problem with guns so. all the student places like nations the nations yeah. mm -hmm. yes the nations yes that's it's very safe and we have no problem at all of, from the students. They are very, very good, very sel seldom uh, problems with the students. We, we, we bump into them when they have no lights and they ride on the sidewalks or they are too on the bikes or a bit too gone. Yeah. That's, <laughs> and, and that's no problem. Uh, is it allowed to smoke cigarettes in public places? Well, well, both uh, yes and no. Yes, overall, <laughs> uh, overall uh, it's okay if you're on a park or in the street, you can smoke a cigarette, but in certain areas, it's not allowed. Uh, bus stops is one place, or outside a public uh, place, like uh, outside a, a university or uh, places like that, it's not allowed at bars or not on the <laughs> Uh, outdoor services. Outdoor services. services. That's not allowed. But uh, yeah, if you walk in the park or on the street, you can smoke your cigarette. A huge thank you to you too. Yes, and, uh, and uh, again, welcome to the yeah, and uh, have a lot of fun. And take care. Welcome. Thanks.